Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pivot a two column range in Power Query. If you're familiar with pivot tables in Excel, did you know there's a pivot feature in Power Query? First, you might wonder, why would I need this feature? Well, if pivoting data is one of those steps in your many steps in your transformations for your data, you might wanna to learn to use this in Power Query. Also, if it's something that you do on a reoccurring basis, pivoting data and making sure that it gets set in a certain way, you might not want to just do it manually in, with a pivot table. You might want to have Power Query do it for you in one easy click of a button. So let's see how we can do this. So here I'm going to use the pivot feature. And what we want to do is bring something like a two column table into like a pivot table. Now you might think, be thinking, well, why would I want to use Power Query to do this as opposed to just using a pivot table? Well, maybe you're in the middle of some other transformation. You want to do something like this. And that's where you'd want to do this. Now I'm going to show an example where um, I just have the invoice to the total due and I don't have this fee column. And I'll show an example where I will have this fee column. And you'll find that this particular technique will do the same thing, whether or not you have an additional column for just one row of information. So let's start off with the one where we're assuming that everything is the same. There's no fee column, right? And this technique works the same. So if I bring this into Power Query, I go to data, I go from table and range, and I bring it into Power Query. I'll show you what happens when you do it and you're gonna get an error. So if I did this and go to transform, go to pivot column, and I'm gonna pivot uh, this particular column with this amount showing in the values field and go to advanced options, go to don't aggregate, click okay, it's gonna give me an error. And the reason why it gives an error because there is no common column or there's no common value to aggregate that information. So what we need to do is have some helper columns. What we're gonna do is go to add column, add index column. Uh, I can just do from zero to one. And what I wanna do is kind of bring, bring back a value here if I see a common occurrence, right? So if I see invoice, I wanna bring back that value, value zero. If I see invoice here, I wanna bring back that value five. So we're gonna add a, another column where, where it's a conditional column. And if invoice, if the category column equals invoice, it could be anything, but I'm gonna use invoice here. Then I wanna bring back the value of that index, right? So go to go to column and click on index. So it's gonna bring back the index number. If it doesn't see invoice, no. Click okay. And now for every instance where it sees invoice, it's gonna bring back zero here. It'll bring back five here. And we wanna do is have that grouping. So all of this will be in the grouping zero, all this will be in the grouping five. So I'm gonna fill down, right click, Go to fill down, and these are all grouped together. So now it makes it easier for the pivot feature to group all this and have these transposed or pivoted and in this grouping of zero and, and this one in this grouping of five. So let's try that. Go to category. Well, actually, we don't need this anymore, so I'll right click the remove. I don't need that anymore. Now go to category, go to transform, pivot column. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the amount, advanced options. I don't need to aggregate, so click don't aggregate, click OK, and now I've got it set up there. So I don't even need this custom column anymore, right click remove. So that sets it up there, and we have it all pivoted nicely. Click home, click close and load, and it will just load onto another sheet. So that is that for that example. But what if we have it where we have this example? This There's this extra field here. It only shows up for invoice 7277 where they have this extra field there. The other ones don't have it. You think it's going to be the same? The technique is going to be the same. So I'm going to go into data, table and range, and we'll do the same thing. Let's see what happens. If I do this, click on category, transform, pivot column, and I want to try to pivot by the amount, options, sum, don't aggregate, click OK. You're going to have that error. Let's delete that step. Do the same thing where we're going to add an index column, go to index column, zero to one, and then have a conditional column. Anytime it sees invoice, then bring back the index value, right? Go to index value, otherwise, no. Click OK, and now we notice that every five will go here, and you will notice that it doesn't go 5, 10, 15, 20. We see we have 21 because it says invoice there. So we want to bring, that, bring back that value and that grouping there, so it notices that. So I'll go right click, fill down, and I don't need this column anymore, Select that, press delete. I can now go and pivot this. Go to transform, go to pivot, and amount is yes, that's right. And advanced options, don't aggregate. 
click OK, and now we have our fee column there. Click on this, press delete, get rid of that. And you see all the other values don't show up for it, except for the invoice 7277. It gets that value. It has that value for 10 under fee, home, close and load. It's going to bring back into another table here. So you can see even with an additional field in a range of data where everything else is the same except for that particular grouping, you can still use this technique to pivot your two column data into a table that looks like a pivot table using Power Query. So as you can see, it's a fairly easy process to pivot your data in Power Query. Now, if this was the only step that you need to do, use pivot tables. But if this is a small step in a series of steps in transforming your data, you might want to think about using Power Query as a solution for this, especially if you're going to do this on a reoccurring basis. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.